What's up YouTube? I'm over here in McKinney, Texas. We're about to try a couple new ponds today. Meeting up with my buddy Ryan here in a minute, but I just uh, whipped into this little parking lot. I'm going to try this pond that we weren't even going to pay any mind to, but maybe it'll have a, a fish or two in here wanting to bite before I meet up with him in the next 15 to 20. So, see what's in here and uh, maybe just put it on the bookmarks for future fishing session before I meet up with them. Should be a blast. I got the Copper Tone 50 SPF on deck because it is a little sunny. So sunny, we're going with the CrossFit Central Tank today. I think that's the move. We're going flip flops. We're doing it big right here. We're going to be throwing some of those new favorite rods that we just recently got in. We got to break these things in. Let's go. Okie dokie, smoky. Let's get after it. I'm not bringing nothing except one black and blue bug. We going straight up T-Rig real fast. Lunker 7.6 heavy rod, two aught worm hook, quarter ounce Wu Tungsten weight with the weight peg, Mantanium DC reel. Clarity's actually looking halfway decent. Black and blue might not be the way to go. We could care less. Oh yeah, she's crystal clear. Oh, there goes a bass. Let's see if we can't get a nibble. I'm gonna walk around this way. I'm gonna go try and fish that corner over there where it's real calm. My go-to for here, if I was just walking up on this, since it's like crystal clear, I would probably just throw a natural colored, uh, maybe like swim bait, plastic swim bait, maybe even like a natural, possibly even like a natural colored chatter bait. Sometimes the, oh, a bass is eyeballing it right now. But black and blue just might not be the right color. I should probably go grab the blue baby. Anyways, I wonder if I should just swim it. I'm literally thinking I might just swim the bandito bug. Should I go to the car that's right there and grab a natural or should I just keep casting? Oh, oh, there's a bass right here. There goes the bass. Yeah, I'm walking a little too close to the bank, y'all. It's best to just walk up on the hills like this with your polarized shades and you can really see them this time of year. This time of year where they're up shallow on beds. I'm spooking them off a little bit, but it's, it's all gravy. This area is extremely shallow. I'm, I might just walk around just to see what's up. Wow. Everything here spots you from a mile away. Oh, that's a bass right in front of us. It's eyeballing it. Oh, I see a pair. I see a pair over here in the shallows. Oh, spooked him. Tried to pop right in front of him and it worked. Oh, I was close by. Man, we're spooking him. I see four bass over here. Oh my gosh. One bit it. Has he got it? Oh! F <laughs> Guys, we had one. Crap. I don't know where they went. Ah, I spooked him. There's one right here in front of us. Oh my god. Watch this. He's swimming out. He's swimming out of this creek. I'm gonna run the bandito bug right in front of him. Oh, no. He didn't want it. Swam right past it. There's another one right in here. This is perfect, guys. Water flowing in. All the bugs are hanging out over here. It's a good food source for the bass. Here we go. I'm about to pass by a big one. Oh, I'm on the bed. I'm on the bed. I see him looking. I see him looking. He's going towards it. He's going for it. Going for it. Oh, got it. Yep, got him. That was awesome. Saw me eat it. That's the biggest one on the bed, too. Yes. Come on up here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Biggest one on the bed went for it when I popped him right in front of him. There was three fish on there, and this one said, I'm munching today. This bandito bug black and blue did it. There we go, y'all. Super dope. Two pounder, for sure. Right off the bed, there was three of them. And uh, I wasn't thinking I was gonna get this catch because the thing is, I kind of passed the bed already. I was, I saw them out there. There was three of them, and I and I went by them, and I saw the one smaller one kind of coming in to look at it. But this one was just hungry, man. So as soon as I gave it another solid pop, and I was gonna just reel it back in to recast. Oh, he he went for it. That was a good catch. That was a sweet catch. Look, he's just swimming off nice and slow. How cool is that? Ooh, there we go. Oh. He's swimming towards the bug. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna pop it when he gets close. Oh, he's going after it. <gasps> he swam past it though. All right, y'all. Oh, God, I've ruined my chances. Why don't you, frog or turtle? There's literally a decent sized one just to the right of these pads. And I'm thinking, oh, 
damn spooked him. I had my pre-fishing fun. Unless I see a big one, I'm just gonna head back over to the car and go meet Ryan, because he's down the street at the main spot, so. All right, y'all. I guess this is how we're doing it at the country club today, man. Front row parking. We'll see how that goes. I'll throw a crawl. Screw it. Ooh, this color looks good. All right, let's see what happens. What's up, y'all? Man, I just stopped at this spot by a church right down the street, mm -hmm. and it's real shallow, and it's like just small, and they're all along the bank, like on beds. Really? Oh, yeah. Nothing like crazy huge, but it was Something. super sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parking in this guy right there. Oh, oh, yeah, I almost messed that up. <laughs> he just looks at it, but he won't do much with it. This is really my first year to fish for largemouth on beds, because I, I haven't been fishing for that long. <laughs> so, yeah, like maybe two years now, seriously, probably, or something like that. And so, last year I didn't know what I was doing. I don't even know if I got out a whole lot during this time. I think it just kind of passed me right on by. Um, but, but this year's been good. I'm gonna see if there's any more real shallow right over here real fast. He sees me. I don't know how I would get this one. Ah, he's spooking off. Hold on, hold on. This is a decent one, y'all. At least two. Look, I see you. He's over here now. These suckers are playing hardball. Yeah, there's, there's a decent one just over here. There's, I've seen quite a few walking around here, but they're all running. Dude, these things are on to me. Playing the patience game. Here he comes. the patience game baby <laughs> oh my god did y'all see that that cast was like three minutes all right y'all just laid the first one on the crack and crawl got him uh just being patient playing the waiting game uh, i saw him on the bed but he saw me too so i had to creep in there let the thing sit as soon as he came back into the bed just a little pop got his attention i let it sit for a second i saw him going towards it popped it again he slammed it so right there lighter color natural crack and crawl let's get him back in the water Second one off the bed today, y'all. First one at this pond. Let's get back in there. Okay, guys, we're gonna chunk this little, little swim bait right here. I think it's a four inch something, something, something brand. Let's see if we can't catch one of these suckers on the move. It is quite possible. And you know, ideally, we'd be throwing it with a uh, weighted belly hook, but I literally just put this thing on a Texas rig. It's not unheard of, and I think it'll do the trick. Oh, there's a daggum fish right here. Oh, we're gonna get him. He, he's seen us. Yeah, you just gotta bring this in slow and steady. I think we can get something on it though. Oh, he's swimming towards it. Got it, oh, oh my God. Just missed him. One that keeps chasing after it. And there's a big snake over there. Y'all cool with snakes? This guy right here is like really active. And I'm no good with this pitching stuff. We got the one and I was eyeballing another one that might commit, but he's kind of on the smaller side. I think we're gonna go back to that pond that I started at because it actually kind of produced. We're gonna ditch this spot, head over there, and then rig back up and try and get some Mondos out of that first one. Oh, got hell yeah. That's a decent one. Wacky rig. Really? All right. Yo, we will take it. Look, he is, he's jamming. Look, he's on the move. Oh my God, that could be a three plus. Look, this is a six pound leader. Wow, I think so. Wacky rig for the win, choked. Look at this. I literally just started recording too. I made the first cast with the wacky rig and I wasn't even filming. I made the first cast when I caught that log and I was like, I better record. I'm gonna even bust out the scale because I'm curious as well as y'all probably what's in this pond. Can y'all see that? 284, about 290. Is that's what we're after. 
just about a three pounder right here. I don't even know if it was on a bed or just chilling out there. I cast it out deep with the wacky rig and it didn't take but a few pops. I was really just letting it sit, if I'm being honest. And uh, she's a beauty. First time fishing this pond, crystal clear water. Let's see if we can't get a couple more though. Y'all, it's the second fish on these MTB Pro Box uh, worms right here. I think it's Bait Lab. This is Watermelon Red Flake. Got him. Oh, he was on the move. I saw another little one. They were chasing the line. They saw the braided line and they were like nipping at the, uh, nipping at it. The worm is like literally as long as this fish. He's probably as tall as my iPhone. I know I had those worms somewhere handy, but I just can't find them. So I'm gonna throw a different worm, very similar. It's just got a little bit of purple or blue flake in there too. It's green on one side and the other side is just kind of that darker finish. I'm throwing these biospawn worms, exo sticks. Well, green pumpkin jig right there. Ooh. Broken trailer too. <laughs> no claws on there or what? No, no claws, no feet, but that's it right there. She hammered it. out on the back patio with the pups and I realized I didn't do an outro as I was editing and finishing up today's video. So this is now the outro. I had a bunch of fun fishing with Ryan and Kaylee and uh, man, we caught a bunch of bedfish. We had that first one on the bandito bug black and blue. Then we had one on a green colored crack and craw. Then we had a few on the wacky rig. It was a good day. And the next upload, I'm fishing with John B again and caught my new PB, first time ever out on a boat. So be looking out for that. Till then, peace. <gasps>